Hedge. You like my new video? She said I was licking his ball, ball. You gotta ask somebody for a testimony when they start giving you the gist. You can't handle it because they telling the truth. That's her truth. She was a hoe. Licking balls, fucking them all. I'm gonna try to take that lightness out of my face before I get my bed. Are you welcome? I was going through following people and blocking people. You know, if you don't have no post in your dish, I don't, I ain't got time for that shit. I'm just going to stop, though, because it's boring. Oh. I don't know. Yeah. I had some more videos that I wanted to make, but I can't find them. And I don't know where the fuck I saved them at. But it was like two more videos I wanted to make. Baby, he was like, and you could tell he was kind of moving that mic because he knew something was coming up. I would have fell out in church. <laughs> I would have been on the floor. My mom would have been mad at me because... <laughs> I would have been dying laughing. I would have walked outside with that finger up so quick and I would have been hollering. If I had been there and baby girl said that, baby, let her talk. Preach, sister, preach. Tell your testimony, get it off your chest. But no. I'm glad they grabbed that mic because I know it was kids in there and she was about to get knee deep in it. But, uh, because baby, when I tell you, oh my gosh, she was in there. She said I was in high school. I would have been like drunker than a motherfucker. Just fucking everybody. Fucking digging balls. But no, that was crazy though. She went in. And she was looking like, where you going with the mic? Baby, you said too much. <laughs> Girl, you know that shit was fake. Talking about, I'm going to Coachella. Baby, please. Ever since they had that uh, Tupac hologram over there, I'm never going to Coachella. No, ma'am. Mm-mm. There won't be no more holograms and all that. I didn't go to that one. And I'm definitely... Definitely not going to go see Beyonce, and I love her, but Coachella scares me. It's too wide open. Everybody out there is fucked up. You, no ma'am. No. Which I'm sure they're going to have really some strict security and shit for when Beyonce get out there. Cause you know she's not about to have none of that shit. But now I'm cool. But no, somebody made that little fake shit up. Uh, what's my strand? This is, I think this is indica or sativa. It's the indica. Let me see, that's the indica. Yeah, I'm smoking on indicas right now. These are twenty one dollars. Hmm. Hmm. But I like all weed. Just give me some weed. I'm not into the, um, uh, 
I'm not into uh, all that other stuff. But just give me some weed. Just give me some weed. And let's turn the fuck up. And I'm drinking on coffee. You know. Before I start my day, I'm starting off a little late. Because I'm dying grown. How much do I smoke a day? It depends on the day. Like today, I have some running around to do. So I'm not going to smoke for about maybe about four hours. So then I would come home and do some. So I would say at least about 20. I'm just knock out say a cold 20. Let's say about an even 20 blunts a day. Always walking on the blunt line. That's what you do when you're 41, grown, pay your own bills, baby, and can't afford it. You do what the fuck you want to do. No holes bars, not giving up. Fuck with nobody thinking and saying, bitch, I don't give up. But yep, that's what I do. I smoke weed all day. And get my chair. And I save so much weed because y'all can't I can't pass to y'all. It's amazing. Which, you know, I wish I could pass it. You guys know Tino Che, but I can't. So my weed really lasts a long time because I don't have guests come over like that. You know what I mean? Stay out my jail. Ran out my good goddamn furniture shit. I want my seats and shit to still have some bounce to it. Some firmness. I don't want the shit to suck all in because bitches is flopping all on my fucking furniture and shit in the mail. If you didn't learn how to sit your ass down at home, I'm going to show you how to sit down up in here. Take your time and sit. Don't flop. Hey, Jess, can you do the 27 Long Beach whole house? 27. Let me see, home girl. Let me see what the 27 is giving off. Jill. Oh, no, Jill, I'm going to do Hey, baby. But, yeah. Hey, Jill. So, you know, I'm doing, I'm saving, y'all help me a lot. Because I'm never lonely. Even when I'm lonely because you're my judge. And I get on here and chit-chat, it can be two of us on here. As long as we chit-chat, I'm cool. I just need some company. Oh, sis. I'll be in Dallas, yeah. I can't pull that out, yeah. And Mary's a long time ago. Oh, you know what? I was going to Mary's. Oh, but well, we met a long time ago, yeah. Well, it's nice seeing you, talking to you. Hope everything is going good for you in life. You know what I mean, that part. Uh, hey, Jill. Do you ever come to Tennessee? I've never been to Tennessee. I would love to come to Tennessee. But, um, let me reroute you. I would love to come out there. You know, hopefully this year I'll make it out there. Somewhere, yeah, somewhere near. Oh, you got to sit down You know, and let's see what happens. Let's see, you know, how it works. Cocktail was just live. Oh, Jill, I miss my sister. I need to call her.
Uh, thank you, Jim. Hey, Jim, how was your day? My day was good. I laid in the bed all day <clears throat> and watched TV. Then the motherfucking news came on. That's what I was going to make a video about. The fucking news cut off the young and the restless for some motherfucker who stole a fucking U-Haul truck. Who gives a fuck about somebody stealing a fucking U-Haul truck? That ain't news fucking worthy. It's bad enough you cut it off with King Orange, get his ass up there talk, talking about shit he don't fucking know. What the fuck? Good thing I got CBS app. But I was getting my fucking jish on the cable that I fucking paid for. Stop cutting my shit off over this bullshit. If you ain't seeing y'all depositing at least $20,000 in my motherfucking account, don't stop my goddamn young and the restless. What no bullshit. Tell that shit after the fact. What the fuck? When was your first cigarette? When I was like four or five? And my mama was in the kitchen cooking. And we were singing Diana Ross, Lady Sings the Blues. And she had a cigarette in the living room with her beer. Of course, I was sipping on the beer. And I hit that cigarette. And if I'm over here and a cigarette over there, why is there smoke coming from over here? She didn't say nothing. Daddy came home. They talked. He called me in the room, laid me across his lap, and whooped my ass with his bare hand. And I have not smoked a cigarette ever since then. Fuck a cigarette. I had lit some for my friends, but I never inhaled. Nothing that I don't fuck with cigarettes. And to this day, he was like, you don't smoke cigarettes? No, 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 sir, I do not. I smoke weed, but I don't fuck with no cigarettes. That was the only whooping my dad ever gave me. Whooped my ass over that cigarette. And I only took a couple of puffs, but that puffs... And I've been smoking weed like regular, regularly for, let me see, 11, for about 15 years, 16 years. But what's the thing? Hello? Hello? Huh? Well, but why you didn't call me and tell me this earlier? I could have been down there, dropped that off, and been back up this way. The shit well, shower shave dish. Did you get, you got them? You got them out. I Well, no, because I was just sitting here, you know, really just being patient until you called and said, girl, I'm on my way up there, or I'm even down here. Well, I am going down there before 5 o'clock because I have to um, go that way anyway before 5 o'clock. Okay, yeah, we'll do it that way. I don't know why he didn't say call me and tell me that earlier, whore. Well, I didn't know until a little later. I just found out about an hour ago myself. So. Well, an hour ago is the perfect time to tell me something, bitch. Well, you all well, waiting on you, whore. But your phone is a cell phone, bitch. It ain't connected to the wall. You say, bitch. 
I ain't coming up there. Well, bitch, you take me to Olive Garden and cheer me up, ho. <laughs> Shit, what the fuck? I'm sitting here laying up like I'm just rich and black. Well, next time, bitch, when you find out, you let me know when you find out. Because I could have been down there, bitch, drop that off and have my ass back. No, no, but you said we was going to meet up down there. And I didn't want to be down there chilling and buying shit. You're, you would have been down there getting found and, and leaving. Yeah, just That's sitting fun. down here, whore. No, you would have got some fellas and went back home. No, because I would have had, you still got to put them on my coat, bitch. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to dock your ass. <laughs> on my next outfit. Well, well, you just get outfit. Let's call it like that. You shut up, bitch. I will. But okay, I'll, be, I'll come down there because I may want to hold down that way anyway. Oh, please wash okay. thine ass. Please wash that ass if I get over there. No, the ass is washed. I'm talking oh. About Oh, well, please watch them. I don't need you stinking, but I need you to finish my shit. All right, well, All right. get that in order, and I'll see you in a minute. Okay. Bye. Shit, this is business, bitch. Money moves, friendship on the side. I done touched my balls for a couple of days to get that money to pay you off. But I, that's my homegirl, Summer Breeze. She be sewing her ass off. But I'm like, damn, Gina. You know what I mean? I was already prepared for you to go down there and I could come back here. But now, I have to go down there and come way back up here. Well, the one thing about it is I could take care of some business down in the LBC, though. I could go look at a couple of Rosses and a couple of uh, wig stores. Because I found these fucking lampshades that I want. Because them are not the ones that I want. But they only have one. And I looked at a couple of places in San Diego. So I'm going to try to do that little dip and do through a couple of them. I got to check like six of them. And see if I can find them. And I hope I do because, you know, I want it. It's, it'll be perfect for my decor that I'm coming up with. And I need a double set. And I can't do like one and one. That's, that's tacky. I need them bitches to match over here so they can go in with what's over there. And then what's going up in there. When I get to my Martha Stewart home living situation. <clears throat> what's my motto for 2018? Fuck the dumb shit. That's my motto. Fuck the dumb shit. But no. You know, baby, you better do whatever it is you got to do. I want to copy that. I like that. You just got to, baby. Nephew, what's going on? These people are fucking with my time and my money. You know, I get very... You know, I get very different with that type of situation. But I'm trying to, I'm trying to pray on it. Because the lady said she was in church, the lady was in church testifying 
and she said she was coming home from school, drunker than a motherfucker. Hallway went all the boys, amen, licking on them balls. Then they took the mic from her. Then the lady said, we're going to keep you in prayer. But I'm sure a few of them brothers pulled her to the side talking about, you know, sister, just come on over and pray. We are, I'll pray for you, and I'm doing this. Here's my number. Call me. Call me right when you leave here and meet me around the corner and all that. They want to, have, they want to get their dick sucked. You know them nasty-ass men. They don't give a fuck. Just throw that dick in their mouth. But yeah, that's what she said. Nah, let her talk. It's her test. I wish I was in church at that time, cause baby. <laughs> <laughs> That would have been the funniest shit for me to hear. I would, they, would, they would have been so mad at me because I would have fell the fuck out. <laughs> like, y'all asses is fucking me up in here. What the? <laughs> like, girl, did she say balls? What's she licking on? <laughs> What's she licking on? <laughs> If I know me, I would have been, I would have repeated all that. Mama, did she say balls? <laughs> My mom would have been so mad at me. <laughs> and I would have been dying laughing. Baby, when I tell you she was giving the testimony of life, <laughs> and they couldn't handle it. They could not handle it. I loved it. But, I mean... Okay, babe. <laughs> we'll check later. But that was hilarious to me. I was trying to find that video of Shorty who walked in church. <laughs> I was trying to put that on the end of that. Say, uh uh, let them let them get Jesus up in them any type of way possible. They need it. Woo. That was a key key to me. I would have lit that up in church. Mama, did she just say balls? <laughs> she have been saying, shut up. Shut your damn mouth up. Like, girl, did she just say licking balls? <laughs> I would have been lighting that up. Because, oh my gosh. Oh, you like that video? Let me pick you up. Okay, me and my jizz getting our jizz. Hey, from Argentina, don't cry for me, Argentina. The truth is I never. Is it forget you? One of them fucking words, I don't know. But I know don't cry for me, Argentina. Yo, is he high? That's stuck again, or is he calling? What's up? What? Why well, ain't high yet? I'm trying to get there. Trust and believe thine. So don't, don't push it on me yet. Let me get there before you start asking am, am I high. Oh, thank you, did not da, da, da. We have got our judge. Andy fucking Griffin, no ma'am. I used to hate to have to sit on the floor and watch this shit. And Bonanza. Girl, why am I watching this? Can't we watch Scooby Doo? I mean, come on. Damn. 
But my mama would sit right there and watch Andy Griffin and Bonanza. And I love Lucy. But if she had them pork chops for breakfast, I didn't give a fuck what was on. Let me eat some of that. Wear her ass out. I want some. <laughs> oh, I hate when she tells stories. The good old days. To listen to while smoking. Anything. I just like music. It just, then if it's like, you know, something I want to get hyped off of, like right off the back, I always bump in Deja Vu. Baby, I can't go anywhere because she's singing her ass off. That always give me like, bam, bam, about to fuck it up. But anything... I just put my phone on repeat. I mean, on, you know, on uh, what is that? When they bounce around and just let it do that on shuffle. And whatever's on there comes on there. The BGs, Barbara Streisand, shit, Cindy Lauper, Michael Jackson, Tina Turner, Lil Kim, Biggie, Tupac, you know, N.W.A. Ice Cube, Will Smith, you know, just a mixture of shit. Patty come up in there, wake everybody up real quick. Riri come in there, wit wit, you know, whatever. Just give me some music. Cause a lot of music is really good to listen to. You never know what a story is telling you and help your ass through. But then for me, myself, I've always been like a music person. So I never minded listening to like different genres of, of music and stuff. And then being a the damn drag queen, Lord Jesus, I think it's kind of good to listen to other music because you learn a lot of different music. Oh, baby, I get my gist on Barbara Streisand. I don't know all them songs, but I'll play her whole concert. Like on YouTube, I'll let that play all the way through. And I'm just doing whatever I'm doing. So yeah, I give my shit on everybody. Stevie Nicks, everybody. I pop in the 80s and shit for Stevie. She pop on in. So you know, music is music, shit. And then I love like pianos and like drums and stuff. So I like, I love to hear instruments. I can't play none of them, but I love them. If I could play the piano, ding 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 ding, whoom, ding 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 ding, whoom whoom whoom, ding 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 ding, ding. I will fuck a piano up. Trust me, trust me when I tell you I will fuck a piano up. But I could still go to school and learn. I've been thinking about it though. I really want to make some time to try to learn how to play the piano. So I could just walk in church one day. And just start ding, 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 just tearing that shit up. On one of them little organs and little keyboards, just tearing it up. Bam, 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 doom, 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 doom. Just bumping in some extra little flavor to it. Breaking them down, not making them twerk, but just breaking them down. But sooner or later, I'm going to go back to church like I used to. I just want to direct the choir and the musicians. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Cut, bam, cut it. You need to cut it. Devil, you need to cut it. You know a little something. But Jesus, it's hard to move. <clears throat> Cupcake, oh, I love Cupcake. She Baby, she cussed the fuck up. I'm like, she don't hold shit back. I'm like, damn, I love her music, though. She goes in. I'm going to try to work on something by her. 
you know, try to get my little nasty up in there. I told my goddaughter, you need to look up Cupcake Bitch. I need to see you fuck her all the way up. Because she can fuck up that shit real good. And, um, you know, I want to make sure she get her jish. You funny. Oh, thank you. I'm not trying to be. I'm just me, myself, and I. Goddamn, bitch, what's the tea? What about everybody else? I, I want <coughs> to have to motivate to get your head down. I don't know. Oh, yes, you do. What should you do? Collab with Cupcake and T.S. Madison. If if you know if ever if I'm ever asked, I sure would do it. You know what I mean? I wouldn't say hell no. I'm like hell yeah, let's do this. Because whatever they say, you know, I could come right with it and just be like, okay, let me just pick off where they came from. Or let me bust some shit. Y'all come from where I came from, and we fuck it up. You know? What goals I have for myself this life other than getting the gist. <laughs> Um, to do more, uh, like, uh, how could, I'll, I'll, more, um, uh, I don't know if it's video work. I'm just going to say video work, like do more stuff for WoW Presents and, um, you know, take my little live stuff to maybe another level and do stuff like that. And I kind of think I'm on the right path because I, I came into this year working on that, trying to get, like, you know, on something. It don't have, that's, you know, have to be TV, but just something bigger than what I'm doing now from what I'm doing. And I already started working that way in bringing in the new year, which is a good thing. And so, you know, that's my goal for the new year. Well, I'm just going to say that's, that's the goal that I'm working towards, towards for, because I don't really set goals for New Year's, but I just say this is what I want to work on, and then I start focusing on that more than anything. So I um, have been doing really good as, you know, my next step in life on what I wanted to do. Because <clears throat> I said by 40, by 43, and I'm 41 now, I figure I should be somewhere in that area where I want to be. And I gave myself 43. But it seems like things are really going kind of quite rapidly for a dime. So I'm just <clears throat> rolling with the punches, just doing whatever it is I'm doing and just seeing where you know it takes me to. But I would love to do, like, have my own talk show. Because there's still a lot of things that we as people and in the community do not talk about. People don't understand. There's a lot of things I don't understand. And, you know, we just need to talk about a lot of stuff. I ain't no goddamn doctor. And some of the shit I may say, I may need to take my own advice. But I can tell a person this, I'm happier than a motherfucker with everything. I don't ever feel insecure. I don't ever feel like I'm not uh, worthy 
I don't ever feel like I'm better than anybody because I'm not. I don't ever feel like um, I'm entitled to anything because I'm not. You know, I'm just. I just know how to tell people to be motherfucking happy. Shit. And it is what it is. If you don't want to pay your bills and you like to hop, to hop, to hop, well, damn it. Shit. If it's working for you, do it. You happy? Because I know some people who just hop, 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 hop. Bitch, you ain't never had a place. You just been hopping on people's floors and couches forever. But they be happy. They find people that let them hop, 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 hop. They don't ever get tired of it because they still fucking hop it. You know? But, you know, I just... I don't know. And then when you see people do shit and go through shit and you sit back, you be like, damn, I'm so, like, I'm thankful I'm not going through that. Whether it's relationship problems, bill problems, whatever the case could be. When they just going through something and you're not going through that, but you know that's something you could prevent from going through. Why the fuck would you do it? That just been my shit right there. I ain't got time for that. Like when I was younger. In the 90s, I, it was easy for kids to rock with checks and credit cards and all that shit. But I've seen them bitches get locked up for years, though. Bitch, I ain't trying to get locked up. So... Why do something that's going to get me where I'm not trying to go? No, ma'am. I ain't never been intimidated. I'm telling you, these bitches used to have some shit. If Janet Jackson came on stage and did a whole Rhythm Nation shit on MTV on a Saturday night, by Sunday night at the show... Baby, it used to be 20 bitches on that stage with the Janet Jackson, with everything they just seen they had on. They done went somewhere and rocked every fucking thing. Pop locking, all that. And then later on, the bitch is in jail. And she in jail for about three, four years. Hell, just even three months or whatever because she done did one grand number. No, ma'am. Uh-uh. Bitch, i seen what people went through. Why do I want to put myself in that? That's something I can avoid. Why? Because I don't have to do what they did. And I've always been like that. Oh, no, man. Oh, that's hot. All right, yeah. No, I don't wish I had that. No, 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 no. All you got to do is do it too, girl. It's easy. No, ma'am. Nope. Sorry, Bob. That has never been my job. And I had loved that. No, I'm cool. I don't do what others do. I see what you do and I see what happens. And I just, you know I me, mean? I ain't never been that type of person. Let me do, no, nah, I'm cool. And for real, you just got to see what people go through and figure out, do you want to go through that shit? And the answer is right there. Hell no. So, you know, that just always been my... Yep. So, you know, that's what I could tell people. Think about it. Get into it. Figure it out. Look, it's right there in your face. It's right fucking there. Always have been in your face. Mm. Ooh, that was a strong ass hit. 
Oh, I love you guys too. <coughs> you mean Sky from the show? I believe you are. I hope they get it together. I, I think her oldest son is just hurt because he probably was told one thing, had his feelings in between, and then his daddy came and said something totally different, which now he got to watch his daddy. Sorry, his, you know, say he was sorry and all this stuff before his daddy started feeding him all this bullshit. And then he got to figure out that his mama wasn't lying. It just, oh my God, it is so sad. It is sad. Oh my God. I was in the house at my sister's house. We were just in tears. I'm like, oh my gosh. And I don't know. I don't know what Duchess was doing. How the boy got over there. I don't know why she did that. That was Below the bed. Baby. If you put my child in the middle of some shit like that, I'm going to have to smoke. Because I know that's, I'm not going to smoke for a minute. Unless they have some good shit behind bars. Because that's where I'm going to end up going. But that was below the, that, that was way, 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 way below the belt. Don't, don't fuck with kids. Leave kids alone. Uh, this is uh, Indica. You know, and I get this for 21 Dwalas. You know. You see how big it is. See the earring will be all the way down there. It's big. Turn on that too. It's the big ass thing of weed. For 21 Dwalas. And it works like a motherfucker. Yes, it did. I love it. Who was fighting at Diddy's party? Wait, what? What's going on? Twenty-one dollars. Oh, they was fighting at the party. No, ma'am. For what? Is it on YouTube? Shut the fuck up. See, I told y'all don't be knowing nothing unless y'all tell me. And Wendy ain't on, so she can't tell me nothing. Oh, they got the full fight. Excuse me, I'm burping and shit. Excuse me. Every I must be getting high because 'cause I'm burping. Your boy Puff Daddy he decided to throw a New Year's. Apparently, a I thought they was friends though. To come in with a hug, Instagram Live to give us. An account of what happened, honey. What happened in 
fit nobody else. Well, maybe these two have finally got this out of their blood because the first time we saw them fight was on Black Ink Crew and Riley came into the shop on 113th and they just started going at it. So this is, would be their second fight. I don't see the fight, Jeff. He came across a woman and he slumped over on some furniture and sites are reporting even a fight took place between Rob Can and you uh Ryan send it to me? Two years ago. Oh. So it says that oh. walking the red carpet, honey, at Diddy's annual New Year's Eve party and approached her for a hug like, yo, what's up, boo? Give me a hug. However, witnesses say Ron wasn't with the fake love. She like, honey, don't be trying to give me no love. No, ma'am. Oh, it's red carpet. Reality star. Now, Sky was called really unprepared and went into fight mode, honey. Some say she won. Some say Ron won. My money is on Sky, who went through a lot meeting her lookalike son two episodes ago on Black Ink Crew and was the two. Ali and Scott fighting. Uh oh. Y'all just don't know how to act. Sad. She got a fatty. Sad. Just sad, Riley. Yeah, get him out of here. That's why you got escorted out. Well, what was that? What? You know what? Happy New Year. That's crazy. I'm just thinking, like, what would it be like if Patty and Tina and Aretha and Diana, they were just scrapping back in the day, just like, ah. <laughs> what is people thinking? Damn, she had her little hair, though. She has snatched her little hair, though. She did have a grip on Sky's little hair, though. Because Sky was down for a moment. She did grab Sky by her hair, though. She had a little hair. Yeah. She knew Sky would have came up in there and threw them things on her. Bink, 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 bink. Because Sky hands is quick. I was just watching them fight from the show. You may have me down, but bitch, these hands gonna catch on that ass. Damn. They done fucked up Diddy Red <laughs> Damn. Well... I don't know. Hello, uh, 643. That's crazy. Oh, 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 o
even show it because they will block me on here. And I already went through that before, and I can't have that again. Please look up Lori Nicholson on Facebook. This video is about to come. <laughs> <laughs> the video is gonna go viral. It's this wife. I'm assuming it's the wife. She do something with her husband's arms in a shirt, and once his arms is all tight in the shirt, she pull his pants down, and he has these big old balls and this little dick. And there's nothing he can do because somebody is filming it the whole time. And I could not show you guys because they're going to block me. Oh, my God. And I'm not sharing it on Facebook because they're going to block me. <laughs> Damn, I can't. No, I didn't see what Trump said. What did he say, baby? I don't I don't I didn't know it. Oh, I don't know. And he can't get out. No. <laughs> Baby, when I tell you it was so premature, poor thing, I can't even share that because they will block my black ass. They blocked me before over some shit like that. And you can't know me. I don't want to get blocked no more, Jay. Toy Shay Tamar over T.S. Madison. What? Send you the link to the video? Girl, I don't even know how to do all that. I'm starving. I need to eat. I found love on a two-way street. Girl, you going in, sister. But like, oh. But uh, what happened? The munchies, yeah, the munchies kicked in, baby. And I got some chips. And some hot sauce that I'm finna tear a rise. Do you hear me? Because I gotta go make some motherfucking runs. Not runs at my ass. I mean, you know. Doing some shit like that. Making money moves. Fancy. Red bottom. See you. Speak to you. I really have taste for some goddamn um, barbecue. I want some good ass fall off the rib sweet type of spicy barbecue. I want it where I bite into that motherfucker and it come off and I got barbecue sauce all on the side. Uh, I'm going to eat Lay's potato chips. The plain ones. In the yellow bag. And I'm going to throw my Frank hot sauce on that. Wah, 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 wah. And fuck that bag up real quick. And 
And while I'm eating that, I can look in the closet and figure out what I'm going to put on for today. Because, oh. It's bright. <clears throat> but it may have a little chill. You know, so I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do. You see that angel around there? They got a lot of them around me, honey. Damn, I really want some barbecue. I can't think of nowhere around here. That will have a good barbecue. Oh, well, I am going by Compton. I think there's a good barbecue place in Compton. Because I have to go through Long Beach. I can't think of a good place in Long Beach to have a good barbecue. It's not a good Well, they food okay, but I don't want their food. Because they don't give me what I need either. But hopefully I can find some barbecue. I really want some. I don't want to cook none. I just want to fuck up a couple of ribs, though. Just on GP. Let me let me re reroute you. Yeah, it gave me a double. Let me let me reroute you. It's not what you think she needs, and then you might keep her if you. <clears throat> you stay in LA, so do I. Well, Culver City, right down the street. Laser Frank Hospitals combo. Sounds oh, it's legit. Trust thine. It is very legit. You get some plain uh, chips, lays, throw that Frank's on top of there, pop, 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 and just crunch. Even the ruffle one, long plane, just throw that uh, Frank's on there. Pop, 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 and crunch. Woo, woo, woo. That bitch says she, she ain't real. That bitch ain't gonna be able to love you like I can. She's a motherfucking stranger. Motherfucker, we got history. Sleeping in a car together. Eating a fucking burger together. Don't you remember? Yeah, she got it all. Fuck her. But is that what you really motherfucking want? Cheap Mexican. What cheap Mexican? Bless your mother. I want to do that song. Woo, 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 woo. I ain't fucked that up in a minute. Let me go on to make me something to do that again. Bust that out on that ass. Yeah, Lays and Hot Sauce is fire. Bust out a little Adele in that ass. Fuck him right on that. Say, look at this bitch. Right, baby. Oh, black bony bitch. But look, y'all, this is on the countdown, and I do have to go get me some juice. But y'all have a wonderful day. And um, I may come on a little later and get my juice and say, for me, it's not me, that's what I love y'all.